okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a stone is kicked horizontally at a speed of 1.5 meter per second from the edge of a cliff on one of the jupiter's moon why are we using jupiter's moon now because we don't know what is gravity and that is why they're just trying to confuse us it hits the ground two seconds later the height of the cliff is given as four meter air resistance is negligible what is the magnitude of the displacement of the stone fine so now what is happening here is now if we are kicking a stone like this what happens it will follow this trajectory like this so after some time it is going to hit the ground this is known as range okay these kind of questions they have been given a special name what is the name for this kind this topic horizontal projectile motion horizontal projectile motion in such a case what we do is we divide the motion of this body into two parts one is vertical another is horizontal so first of all we apply our formulation on horizontal uh, on vertical and then we apply on horizontal so this is the general formulation that we do but in this question even that is not required because many things have already been given to us you see we need to find the range and the only characteristic that we are now going to utilize is that in the case of horizontal projectile motion the horizontal velocity does not change the horizontal velocity of the body does not change it was moving with 1.5 it will keep on moving with 1.5 meter per second for all of the time for how much time for two seconds because after two seconds the body is now touching the ground so we can very well find the range of the stone because if we are considering only and only the horizontal motion the stone is moving at the constant speed so the distance that is range should be equal to speed into time so in our case it will be 1.5 and the time is 2 so it will come out to be 3 meter so this range is 3 meters now the question says that you are supposed to find the displacement of this so what is the displacement displacement will be this like this this will be the displacement the line joining the initial position and the final position is the displacement so now this becomes a right angle triangle by applying the pythagorean theorem we will find the displacement let us write it as x so i can say that x square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square so x comes out to be equal to 5 see by applying the pythagorean theorem you can do it like this is 16 this is 9 16 plus 9 is 25 taking square root on both sides it is fine otherwise also this is a very special triangle i would like to tell you a couple of more things here extra information if this is like let us say 4 this is 3 and this is 5 the triangle is not in proportion okay if this is 4 this is 3 this is 5 this is known as pythagorean triplet There are many more Pythagorean triplets like this. Uh, five, 12, 5, and 13 is also one of the Pythagorean triplets. But this is a very special case. This angle becomes 53 degree. The angle between 5 and 3 is 53. And this angle is 90 minus 53. So it comes out to be equal to 37 degrees. So these kind of triangles we do remember. So if you want to remember this triangle, you can. But here in India, we do that. <laughs> okay, so with this, our answer should be V. So this is Professor Varun. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please share this YouTube channel with other, other friends. All the best.